I S U P K. The images of the situation in Del Rio moved the controversial group Israelite School of UPK to mobilize their car caravan when they were allegedly turned away in Del Rio and they headed to Eagle Pass. Came around to the Mexico side. Now we're in Mexico to give our brothers the resources that we have for them. After an hour plus trip, the caravan made it to this park in Ciudad Acuña, traveling through an area with a State Department travel warning level four for violence on the Mexican side due to the cartels. Being in a dangerous situation, that's being black, Hispanic, or Native American. I mean, we'll, you know, our lives are dangerous. I'd rather die like a man than live like a coward as a ghetto up in heaven and the sours. Black power, uh, 144,000. I'm just trying to make 144,000. 144,000. I'm just trying to make 144,000. One body, one face, one Lord. Feel like I can take over the world with one sword. 144,000 men on one accord. Not being in this army is something you can't afford. The real niggas across the board ain't no suckers round us. You was looking for the truth, well that's how you found us. Now it's time to lace your boots up. We got the order from the king, round the troops up. Let's go to war and die defending this nation. If we gotta, ain't no stopping us now. The chosen people love the power, standing strong like a man. In our camp, it ain't no cowards. Nah. 144 grand, nigga, it's step before the sign. Rather die like a man. He said he was gonna do. He was gonna go, go to the side, and make a score. Why? Because the Most High, because Christ is just like the Most High. He's an austere man. He does not suffer any little thing. He is a warlike man. He is a he is a a man of war. He is a man of war, and what he was seeing was people getting over on his people. And this is this is his response to all you Christians that think that, that Christ is nothing but you know uh, love. To to what you think that Christ is nothing but love, this is what he actually did. This is what Christ did. He got a scourge. I want you to, if you could, Baba Kishar, read the definition of scourge. This is the Webster's Collegiate Dictionary. Scourge, scourge, whip, a, a what? Flaw, whip, to punish severely. Christ went back, sat down, and he made a scourge. But what is a scourge? A flaw or whip. He made a flog or whip. The water, the water, sir. He made a flog or whip. And he got a bunch of court. Read that, read that from the top, Bob. Verse 15. And when he made a scourge, a whip of small court, a scourge, a whip, a scourge, a, a flop, a scourge, a, a, one of them rat tails, a scourge. Keep going. Of small court, of small cords. That means he, he didn't have the whip. He went and got some cords and braided it together and made a whip of it. This is Christ. This is the one who you say loves everybody and, and wants to save everybody. This was while he was on the earth. He made a whip and what did he do? He drove them all out of the temple. He was whooping tail up and down the temple. You know how big that temple is? You know how big that temple was? He got the whip and he was just whipping everybody. Anybody who was in his path, he was whipping. Keep going. And the sheep and the ox, he even whipped the sheep. He whipped the dog. What did the sheep do to anybody? He whipped the ox. And what did the ox do to anybody? They were there to get killed. They were there for sacrifice. He whipped the people. He whipped the, the money changers. He whipped the sheep. He whipped the oxen. Why is it that our, our image of Christ has nothing to do with this warlike man right here? Why is that? I'll tell you why. It's because of white supremacy. Everything that we know about our book, our Bible, our Constitution, has white supremacy all over it. And because of that, we have been destroyed. We have been, we have been uh, destroyed, effeminized, 
into believing that we are weak and Christ is weak. But when I just read that Christ actually saw something he didn't like. And what and what the brother bring is so heavy. Hey, uh, I watch it. Give me give me that the devil right here. With the but with the image the image we nah what's that nah I want it's behind it. See the Bogier. Who who is this right here, man? Who is this right here? Yeah. Say it again, brother. Give him a hand, man. He know who it is. He know that Christ is truly a black man. The brother walked past. See, listen, we waking up. We the, the truth is being revealed all over the earth to black people, man. More, more and more, the truth is being revealed because America cannot hide their colors and hide and hide their character. You are showing how evil you are, man. The brother's bringing out how Christ went to the temples and beat the hypocrites out of out of the temple, man. And even, and, and even beat the lamb. Give me, uh, give me, give me, give me Nehemiah, chapter, and, and all and all the prophets were rough men. Today, I'm not telling you to go and beat anybody and beat anybody who's sinning, but we want to show you the true character of everybody, man. David, King David, could not build a temple. Why? Because he said, he said his hands were too bloody. You don't understand. And overall, our Creator, God, is a man of war. Let's get that first. Give me Exodus 15 and three, because. Exodus chapter 15 verse 3 Christianity and the Catholic Church have bastardized the image of God and made God in Christ and make them seem soft make them seem soft and effeminate when God is a man of war who do you think caused cause earthquakes of man of war who do you think caused hurricanes and cause and, and cause famine and viruses and kills people man Give me a time and place where a time for everything, a time of peace, and a time to heal and time to kill. They don't understand the truth of the Bible, man, because our black leaders the Christian church have done a horrible job, a horrible job of teaching black people the truth. Amer Listen, you gotta understand, America works day in and day in, day in and day out to hide the truth from black kids and from adults, man. Just what, 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 state, what state is hiding, um, is taking away black history. There's a state right now, it might be Tennessee, they want to stop teaching black history in schools, man. America has always been the devil. The Caucasian man, the white man, has always been the devil, man. That's why we, that, that's why we gotta work double hard to tell our children the truth. Tell them the truth, man. There's too much confusion out here. Now, now, now we now we have to call a man a woman. A man can walk around with a penis and testicles and call himself a woman, and I gotta call him a woman. Doesn't doesn't that make me a liar? Now, now I have to be a liar now. Now a woman can walk around with breasts, and and, and now she gets her breasts cut out, and she wants to be a man, and I gotta call her sir. Well, well, how come I cannot? Not, listen, you can't be an honest man no more. You cannot be an honest woman anymore. America is a place of confusion and the author of all lies. And the first lie right here is Christ is, Christ is a black man, he's not a white man. This is a lie right here. But all over the earth, America has been spreading the lie of who our savior is. The savior of the children of Israel, man. Give me the, give me, give me the character of God. Go ahead. The book of Exodus, chapter 15, verse three. The Lord is a man of war. I thought, wait a minute, I thought I thought God would not hurt a fly. You mean, are, are you reading that right? Oh, you sure does not say the Lord is a man of love? What does it say? The Lord is a man of war. You got to understand, when people die, it's by the hand of God. God is, God, and listen, don't get me wrong. God is merciful. But you got to earn that mercy, man. God is forgiving. But what are we going to do for his forgiveness? We gotta obey him to get him, to receive his forgiveness, man. We cannot do what we want to do. We can't follow our own lusts. We gotta follow the list that up. We gotta follow the set of laws in here. We gotta love our brother as ourselves. You cannot and you cannot go and have sex with, a, with another man's woman. We love we love to sing about it and rap about it today. That is a sin. Leave that man's woman alone. And woman, you don't be a whore. If you're having an issue. You go to a counselor and marriage counselor to keep your marriage together, man. We ain't gonna, we, listen, we cannot sell the white man drugs to each other. 
It's all a game. It's all a game to game us up and to, and to fill their private owned prisons, man. It's all a game. And we, and we, and we, and we fall for this game day in and day out. But I understand why. It's because we live in poverty. It's because we're poor. And because we're poor, it, may, it, it, it put us into survival mode and we will do anything to, to survive. But when we come back to the Lord and come back to the, 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 the priest of the Lord, We'll learn how to survive. We'll learn how to live a better life where we don't have to be survivors and be dogs to each other, man, and be selfish to each other. But the Lord is a man of war. And black man, that should be your character. Black man, you are a warrior. You are not, you are not to walk around as you are, and be a woman. That ain't, your, that ain't your, listen. It's because we live in America, man. They teaching us confusion. You are a man, you are a boy, Damon. You are a boy, and we have to protect our woman. Black women need to be protected. How many, how many of black women are missing? Over 100,000 black women missing in America, man? Blacks and Latinos missing in America. Our black and brown women need to be protected, man. And listen, black woman, you gotta have a job. Listen, you, you, got, you got a job too. You gotta listen to your man. America lied to you and told you that you can do whatever you want to. When you do that, you are leaving your protection. You are leaving your protection, man. Give me a, give me Nehemiah, go ahead. Let's get more of the, let's get more of the characters of these prophets. Give me Nehemiah 13 and 25. Go ahead and read what you got. This right here is garbage, man. That's garbage. You can fix that, brother, fix that for me. Put it right up on the, no, you. Go ahead, pick it right up on the speaker. Go ahead. This is Ecclesiastes chapter three and verse three. A time to a time to kill and a time to heal. Read again. A time to kill. God says there's a time. God in the Bible says there's a time to kill. A time to what? A time to kill and a time to heal. There's a time for everything. There's a time to kill and there's a time to heal. Right now, the Lord is hurting our oppressors, man, with coronavirus. How many, listen, you guys, go, go Google how many of those cops have died from coronavirus. Go Google how many of these racist people have died because of coronavirus, man. You got to give the Lord a hand. The Lord has been destroying our enemies, man. And guess what? This is only the beginning. There's a time to kill and a time to heal. Read on. Okay. A time to break down and a time to build up. There's a time to break down and God is breaking down America. Everybody, everybody's getting ready to be uh, be drunk and be merry and have a good time. But God is bringing down America. Look at the buildings around you. Look at the look at the establishments. The establishment. Listen, the Lord is shutting down America's business, man. How, listen, Google Google how much how much cargo. They, they say it's about seventy billion dollars worth of cargo being held and not being shipped out to America. Seventy billion, man. America, the system is messed up. Shipping, shipping, shipping is not going out. The economy is going down. And black people are being, read, read again. Break down and build up. A, a time to break down and a time to build up. There's a time to break down. And we gotta break down, we gotta break down these systems that separate black people. That separate black marriages, man. Black and brown marriages. We got to break down a system of, of, of men, of black men versus black women. Because we are together, man. We are one. Read on. A time to weep and a time to laugh. And a time, it is, it is a, it's a time to weep right now. America is weeping. America will never be strong again. God is going to bring down America. And right now, black men, it's time for black and brown men, it's time for to sit back and smile. That's right. Smile at the destruction of America because they were never our friends. America have never done anything good for us, man. There's a time to weep and a time to smile. Black man, you come back to the Lord and follow his laws and smile, man, while America crashes uh, and while America falls and burns like Rome did. Rome is falling again and it will not be rebuilt. God is going to burn Rome again. And we are standing in Rome right now.
I'd rather die like a man than live like a coward as a ghetto up in heaven and the sours. Black power, uh, 144,000. I'm just trying to make 144,000. 144,000. I'm just trying to make 144,000. One body, one face, one Lord. Feel like I can take over the world with one sword. 144,000 men on one accord. Not being in this army is something you can't afford. Agree, niggas across the board. Ain't no suckers around us. You was looking for the truth, well, that's how you found us. Now it's time to lace your boots up. We got the order from the king, round the troops up. Let's go to war and die defending this nation if we gotta. Ain't no stopping us now. The chosen people love the power, standing strong like a man. In our camp, it ain't no cowards. Not avoided for grand. Nigga, it's step before the sun. Rather die like a man than live like a coward. There's a ghetto up in heaven and it's ours. I'd rather die.